Hello, welcome to Bogona Nurseries in Virginia. We're trimming back uh, of our Grand Janet Bell. We started trimming some of them a few weeks ago and trimming them hard back. And then we're going to feed them to make sure we get lots and lots of flour this year. So our hydrangea annabelle, uh, you can go over a bud and be very particular if you like. I don't overly worry about it. Trim them down and they will throw back up fresh growth again once you feed them. Now, this is a photograph of this exact plant in flower last summer. They're fantastic. Hydrangea annabelle are, are wonderful. Non-stop flowers if you feed them from end of June right through until mid-September. You can plant a hydrangea annabelle at this time of year from young plants like this. That's hydrangea annabelle. And just it's only a matter of digging a decent sized planting hole, putting a little bit of super tri planting fertilizer down the bottom of the planting hole, swell well compost and soil on top, and the same back in around. But to make sure they flower well and they've got good stems, it's important to feed them. And all your hydrangeas, perennial flowers, flowering shrubs need to be fed every four to six weeks from now with Flower Max. Now Flower Max is the fertilizer to encourage your plants to produce lots and lots of flowers and it brings out the intensity of the flower color and makes sure that we have great big flowers on Hydrangea Annabelle this year. So we're feeding all our hydrangeas, all our perennial flowers, flowering shrubs and roses from now every four to six weeks to get the most from them this year. Goodbye for now, enjoy your garden.